Facebook parent Meta to open its first physical retail store. The new store in California will display Meta's VR headsets, video chat devices, and smart glasses. They're mm. a... Uh, they're Apple now. They're, yeah. they're Google now. They're Meta now. You understand? Well, they jumped into the hardware business. You gotta I, said, open a I mean, I don't mind the look of the space, I guess. Uh, I like the couple of wood grains going on. Mm -hmm. It will be, it is a little weird to have a store where everybody's going to have headsets on. Some Probably some safety protocol because you're going right. to go in there and test the devices mm -hmm. before you buy it. I'm sure they'll have like... They got a room. Maybe VR room. Yeah. They yeah. got a room. It's right there. Like yeah. a change room, except you just go for your, you go in there for your VR. Right. I, I you could, go in there for your <laughs> VR. Wow. Yeah. I mean, that's what, I mean, you're the VR guy, Will, so go ahead. Yeah. I, I guess that's what it is, right? You will have like uh, designated VR rooms yeah. for you to test mm. demos, mm. classes, even. Um, it would have to be roomy. Crashing the, into stuff. The yeah. room, the room would have to be roomy. Uh huh. This seems actually small. This well, it does, yeah. But I again, but, this uh, might just be a corner. That's a weird descriptive word. Small, roomy, roomy. Yeah. Oh look, there's Zuck. <laughs> Only a room can be roomy. <laughs> a car can be roomy. A roomy car. Yeah. Really. No, you never sit in the back of a car. You're like, damn, this is roomy back here. Like yeah, a, I say that all the time. Like a room. Yeah. It's like a room back it's, here. It's like a room back here. A room back here. <laughs> Sounds really funny. <laughs> well, no, I'm saying because you're saying it's roomy. <laughs> yeah. You're implying it's like a room. Yeah. So what's more roomy, a room or a car? Well, obviously a room would be more roomy. Uh, Yeah. <laughs> Sure. I agree with that. Yeah, but how big does a room have to be to be roomy? <clears throat> I think it's subjective. How so? <laughs> Where are you going with this? It's just that it's like the descriptive word is the same word as what it as the the noun. Exactly. Yeah. As what it defines. The room. Yeah. But like, is this room roomy? I don't think you'd ever describe it that way, even though it's enormous. Roomy seems to only be used when you're in an environment that isn't typically large. Right. The way he used it to describe the room in which you would test the VR, that it would have to be roomy. Yeah. Implying that he'd be worried that it would be too small. Okay. Like you would say, this closet is roomy or this bathroom is roomy because they're normally cramped. Mm -hmm. It's the same reason you said the back seat of the car can be roomy. Exactly. Because typically it's not. Exactly. Mm hmm but you never go to a stadium and go, this place is roomy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Just you and 10,000 people. <laughs> Stadium's roomy. Apparently DoorDash is in the chat now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, it's a nice little space. <laughs> I'm 1,500 <sorry>. square foot. <laughs> you guys did not want to go on that tangent with me. You guys were like, shut up. The roomy one? Hey, man, I was there with you. <laughs> no, the, I just didn't. It was, it never. You didn't feel it. <laughs> yeah. It didn't cross my mind. Like, uh -huh. I just, I really wanted to get to the bottom of that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What, it's, what you're allowed to use it for. It's, well, if it's. It doesn't make perfect sense. Like, it's one of those things you have to know. If you were learning the language, which is why English is so bonkers. Yeah, really is. And you would, you would come from Sweden and be like, this stadium is roomy. Yeah. <laughs> Give us a definition on roomy. Real quick. Because, like, the, we need to, or Rami, we need to get to the bottom of this. Especially if accommodations having plenty of room, spacious. You could say. This cabin. But, no, but having plenty of room, you could say. This place is roomy. No, stadium. Yeah, you could say that. And it would be fine, but you'd be a psycho. Yeah, because that's not how people talk. But you, the only way you would know that is with experience. Exactly. N and like. Meta said Monday. It's hoping that more people try the technology. They'll understand why CEO Mark Zuckerberg thinks the metaverse is, a, is the successor to the mobile internet. 
it's time for us to understand why. Mm -hmm. Once people experience the technology, they can gain a better appreciation for it. If we did our job right, people should leave and tell their friends, you got to go check out the Meta Store. Right. That's the quote. That's not me. I know, I know. The store will feature products such as Meta's first pair of smart glasses with Ray-Ban, which let you snap photos in 30-second videos. People will also be able to check out Facebook's line of video chat devices called Portal. Are they still doing Portal? That are, uh, Portal changed a lot because Portal originally got a lot of backlash. The, the People were like, I don't want Mark in my house. Yeah, the camera's always on. Like, it's, all, it's always there. I think they changed that product a little bit. You'll also be able to try the company's latest VR headset, the Quest 2, play some Beat Saber, some real VR fishing, and Supernatural on the device. What are you doing in VR? Are you still doing this program? Yeah, I play uh, Supernatural. It's the uh, kind of like Beat Saber, but um, you get a little bit more flex. Okay. You don't just use your wrists. Like, you really have to, like, right. you have be to get in the involved. motion. Yeah. You know? I That's do the boxing cool. one. It's fun. <clears throat> You're still doing it? Uh, yeah. Well, are you seeing just any? air punching. Are you seeing any? <laughs> are you seeing any results? Uh, yeah, a little bit. Like you, progression in the game or results like outside of the game. A like are bit you of just both. getting better at the game? But you're seeing yeah. like real life. It's here and there. Yeah. Oh wow, interesting. Dude, I'm drenched afterwards. It's uh, it's a tough. Really? How long do you uh, go? Uh, I go for like two sessions, and each session is like maybe. 10, 15 minutes. Do you call it a session or does the machine? They do. They call it a yeah. session. Interesting. <clears throat> you know what I find funny? How all these tech companies got plants all over their stores. Plants everywhere. Plants, yeah. Google, Meta, Apple, all of them. I put plants everywhere. Are you ripped now, Will? <laughs> He's just jacked. Like deep from down? The, from the... I wouldn't say that. Which game was it? Supernatural. Supernatural? Mm -hmm. You said you were noticing results. Yeah, here and there. Sounds ripped. I feel like you uh, got to do a lot more to be ripped. I mean, you're air punching. <laughs> it's not, yeah, there's only you know. so much that can happen. <laughs> yeah, but I, yeah, but listen. You might, uh, like if you shed fat, you might just look more ripped anyway. Sure, yeah. If you're, sweat, if you're a sweating lot. the fat off, which is like, uh, uh, what was that Richard Simmons thing? Remember? <laughs> what did he uh, say? I think it. I think what is it like something? Something with the oldies, like my sweating to the oldies or something. I think he had a show called Sweating to the Oldies. No, something like that. Yeah, there you go. Sweating to the oldies. Oh, that's you, Will. It says volume one. So oh man, this. it was a big hit. It was oh, a big God. hit. It was a big hit. Yeah, look at that warm up lunges, hamstrings. I picture this is what's going on at your place, Will. Wow, this looks like a time. <laughs> when you're doing the uh, shorts that high, Will. What'd you call it? Supernatural. Mm. Yeah, this is what's going on, right? Yeah, it's um. It's quite a sight. Is your outfit similar or no? Uh, I knew you were going to go there. I was just waiting for you to go there. I don't know. Maybe more <laughs> revealing. If Listen, if you ever beat me to it, Mo, feel free to go for it. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just okay. To, for the record. <laughs> right. If you ever get there first, yeah. then feel free. But this, I feel like this was on in my grandma's house. You know this type of thing, mm -hmm. just on. I mean, no one, yeah. no, no one was no, working. No, out. no one was sweating, but he was. He was sweating to the oldies. Yeah. So it's crazy, Man, crazy. He the puts on the show. The, the the type of things that would break through culture back then compared to now. Like, you try to picture this on YouTube, just getting posted now as like a serious thing. Mm. It's wild. You can't picture it. You wouldn't even be able. To, you wouldn't be able to perceive this now as anything but yeah. comedy. Mm -hmm. 
you would assume this was comedy. Yeah. If you saw it now. But it wasn't. There no, were no, actual he was serious. real people watching it. And what? like losing weight. Like Okay, we have an update here. Twitter stock has apparently become halted right now because of the announcement. Mo, that makes sense. Mo, this is uh this is your territory. Go ahead. Well, that makes sense. I think if you just have enough money, you know that the deal is done. You just buy an abundance of the stock at this price. Pump and dump? Exactly. You Classic. know you're making $3 well, you're not, per you're not, share. You're not pumping and dumping. The no. dump is already It's already done. done. It's already been set. Oh, okay. So right. You're going to make $3 if, a share no matter what. If you believe or have information telling you that the deal is done at fifty four twenty, then you just go ahead and make three and three dollars and change per share yeah. right now at the yeah. at the fifty one. Yeah. But the question is, is how anybody knows for certain that it's done. I mean, it sure sounds like it's done. Mm -hmm. But it also sounded like he was on the board when they said. Elon's but you want to know? You want, you want to know something? Yeah. As far as I, from my angle, this deal is not done. Until Mo says it, it's done. <laughs> okay. Which is our financial analyst. <laughs> right. Which is the, the which is the only financial analyst. Uh-huh. That's like when they're doing the election and, and they're like, did CNN call it yet? Did uh -huh. MB NBC uh -huh. called it? NBC the, just called uh, Florida. Give me the credible news source. Uh, CNN just called Oklahoma. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Michigan. That's the way it works with, when it comes to the stock market mm -hmm. and financial analysis. It's not until Mo calls it. Well, we're going to wait then. I'm not calling it. You're not yet, calling it yet? Yeah, no. Okay, we're going to be, listen, we're going nowhere. Stick around, yeah. We're going nowhere <laughs> until Mo calls it. Mo has to approve of the deal. Of I think you have to see the terms first. Yeah. Sign it, pen and paper. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Meta hasn't said how many people use its VR headsets, portal devices, or smart glasses. Meta's Reality Labs division, the unit behind these products, lost more than $10 billion in 2021 as the company invested in more futuristic technology such as augmented reality glasses. AR lets people overlay digital images onto their view into the physical world. I don't know if you needed me to describe what AR does, but CNET wanted you to know in case you forgot because somehow you haven't right. engaged with it yet. Yeah, Google opened stores. They mm -hmm. have a few products, Pixels and Chromebooks, mm -hmm. the home stuff, Nest. Well, they even announced the speakers. new notification products that they're going to come out with. Oh, that was that's too early. Yeah. Those things are nowhere close. It's just like a moonshot endeavor. They all kind of look the same, eh? Like yeah, the all uh, these places. Microsoft Store, Google Store. How would you describe Meta How store. would you describe them? It's very um like a lot of wood. Like brown tones. It's like the opposite of what you would imagine tech rooms to look like. Uh -huh. like very nature, very... Yeah. Um, yeah, just natural tones. Damn, like our chat right now is bot central. It's just over. Oh. Speaking of bots, it's just a disaster. You learned wow. how to take over Twitter now. Or, yeah, YouTube. We were talking about bots. They heard us. Yeah. yeah. We said the word bot in reference to Twitter. Bot cleanup. Mm -hmm. They just got, they all got banned from Twitter and they came over here. Right. <laughs> they migrated. Wow. Oh my God. Go ahead, bots. <laughs> this is too hard. <laughs> What, are you trying to ban people? <laughs> no, I'm just trying to put people in timeout, but it's not working. <laughs> oh, you're actually working on it? <laughs> well, trying. Someone oh left a prototype God. Google Pixel Watch at a restaurant. Oh, so this is the Pixel Watch we were talking about, and it is memories of the iPhone. It was the iPhone 4. Mm. And it was, uh, I think Steve Jobs was still around, so it was FBI status. <laughs> FBI status. Seriously, the FBI. No, I remember it being a Read the Gizmodo deal. story, man. It is yeah. a nutty situation. Did they hunt him down? Well, they hunted him down, man. To his house? Talking about U.S. law enforcement. Yeah. Talking about the U.S. Marshals. Talking about Tommy Lee Jones. You know who that is? Yeah. He's the, uh, is he sheriff? Damn right. 
Fugitive. Damn right. Yeah. You're damn right. He plays a really good cop. Oh, but there's an actual there was an actual movie called U.S. Marshals. Look it up. Oh yeah. Look it up, Will. Let's see if we're right about any of this. This whole thing is a live experiment. Well, the U.S. Marshals are a real thing. There you go. 1998. 1998 action thriller. Uh, uh, U.S. Marshals is a 1998 American action crime thriller film directed by Stuart Baird. Tommy Lee Jones, Chief Deputy U.S. Marshal Sam Girard. Box office, $102.4 million. If I had this movie rented, rented means physically, go get it. I'm 74 years old. Blockbuster. And then brought it home, made some popcorn, uh. young Lou and young Vin. And this would be a hell of a night. That's all we needed, just a U.S. Marshals. And a Tommy Lee Jones and a Wesley Snipes. <laughs> you, you even had a, did you have a young Robert Downey Jr.? You didn't even know mm. that part. You didn't even know that part. Look at this. Good old-fashioned, another fugitive-style story. That's it. U.S. Marshals. Anyway, yeah, so if you find an iPhone, this is who's coming for it. You find the prototype iPhone, this is who's coming. Right there. That's what you're in for. <laughs> if you're currently holding on... menacing. If you're currently hold, holding on to the Pixel Watch, this is who's coming to get you. Mm-hmm. And just shout out to Mo right now because he's on fire right now and he knows it. Yeah. Hands cramping up. He, he, no, you, you right now you're Tommy Lee Jones. Yeah. Right. I'm keeping an eye out. You are a U.S. Marshal right now. <laughs> Lord. He's holding the gun. Yeah. Some of them I'm reading and they're funny. <laughs> Twitter stock trading. Most recent development, Twitter stock trading has been halted. That strike you as a real deal, Will? Well, let's see. That strike you as a real deal? <laughs> Richard Simmons? Well, he's the real deal. You know um, that. Well, let's find out. Is, do we have a... Do we have... I mean, how do we know that it's halted? Where was this posted? That's what I want to know. Yeah, I couldn't find it, at least right now. Well, go ahead and type halted. Twitter stock halted. Here you go. Twitter stock, okay, so mostly coming via Twitter. Here we go. Twitter stock halted. Okay. For the first time today. Hmm. Uh, click the right arrow there. Let's see if we can get any other sources. Stock halt alerts. Oh, there's more than one stock halted. Interesting. It's on the NASDAQ website. Well, usually we'd count on Mo for that, but he's on robot mode. Mm-hmm. Mo's got other business to attend to ever since he became Tommy Lee Jones. <laughs> the internet equivalent of Tommy Lee Jones. Ending ending anonymity online mm -hmm. since... Put your name next to it. 2000 and... When were you born, Mo? I was not born in the 2000s. Not far, not far <laughs> off, young Mo. No, still off. In though. the 90s? Yeah. See... <sighs> 90s. Unbelievable. 96? <laughs> we weren't no. far off. What? No, not 96. I'm older than that. Why are you making me do math? 93? 94. 94. I'm a 94. 94 is amazing. Yeah, I love that year. 94 is great. But you couldn't enjoy it, though. You don't remember 94? Check out the breaking news about Trump getting fined 10000 a day until he turns over documents. Okay. Maximilian looking for the breaking news. Donald Trump found in contempt of court in a New York civil case. You can click on that. Hmm. Trump faces a daily fine of 10,000. Daily fine. Wow. Just ratcheting up until complying with subpoena requests. 10,000 a day. I guess that'll catch up to anyone, wouldn't it? No? Mm -hmm. Maybe not. Just for the rest of your life, 10,000 a day? Oof. Oh, maybe it goes up. At some point. A oh, New really? After I don't know. A, a New time? York judge on Monday held uh, former U.S. President Donald Trump in contempt of court for not producing documents subpoenaed in the state attorney general civil probe of his business practices and ordered Trump to be fined 10000 U.S. per day until he complies. 
Trump lost a bid to quash a subpoena from State Attorney General Let Letitia, Letitia James, then failed to produce all of the documents by court-ordered March 3 deadline, later extended to March 31. Mr. Trump, I know you take your business seriously, and I take mine seriously. I hereby hold you in civil contempt, the judge said. That sounds serious. Mm -hmm. Shout out, Daniel. I know you take your business seriously, and I take mine seriously. That's how we're going to start the show from now on. I'm going to look <laughs> at you. I'm going to look at you, Mo, and right. I'm going to say, I know you take your business seriously. Damn right. And I take mine seriously. I would expect that. That's how the show starts. <laughs> Playing classical music. Uh, let's see here. What is it? Engeron? Engeron recently ruled that Trump and two of his adult children, Donald Trump Jr. and Ivanka Trump, must answer questions under oath in the probe. In arguing for the $10,000 daily fine during the hearing, Andrew Amer, special litigation counsel with the Attorney General's office, said the fine was meant to coerce Trump into complying with the documents, not punish him. They want the documents. Hmm. Investigating whether the Trump Organization, former president of New York City-based family company, misstated the values of its real estate properties to obtain favorable loans and tax deductions. Oh, <laughs> we're, we're wondering about such things? <laughs> the value of real estate, well, that seems difficult to pin down based on whose assessment, based on uh, which, man, this stuff is... Like the last time a property was assessed, like Will, they could come to your property and be like, nope, it's worth this now. Here's your new property tax. I don't know what the rules are, how often they can do it. Hmm. Can't be often, right? They'll fine you $10,000 a day until you come. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm like, dead. You're like, I don't know. What do I do? <laughs> I don't know. It's terrifying. Yeah. Uh, 